Assalamu alaikum once again welcome back to my channel brain again uh, this time with a new tutorial uh, we are going to design ballon at 2 gigahertz and I will uh, give you the formula sheet actual parameters uh, how to do all that and uh, how to make uh, your frequency tune how to make your dipole as a resonant frequency and later on we will see how to write a particular ballon to your dipole design so starting from the beginning, uh, these are the parameters I want to show you that what will be we need the center frequency, cut off frequency, uh, and then lambda is actually calculated by that frequency, C is speed of light and F is your frequency in gigahertz. Uh, it really it can mean mega in giga. My frequency is in gigahertz, so C over F give me one fifty mm. So next is uh, length that is 143 giga over frequency and here in this formula you put, have to put your frequency in giga that a giga will be cancelled by giga and that's it that a left over value will be 143 over frequency uh, that is 143 over 2 that is 71.5 mm and then I have uh, D is a diameter lambda over 500 mm and R is equal to diameter by 2 uh, that is also in mm and gap is equal to length divided by 200 that is also in will be in mm so this is the zero reference line and half of the gap will be there and half of the gap will be at this side I will make uh, it will be symmetric to uh, the axis um, so from this gap by 2 so this is this point is length by 2 so actually the length of the one arm will be L by 2 minus G by 2 and the other arm will also be L by 2 minus G by 2 so the total length is L in from which we will separate the gap and left of uh, the uh, length will be divided in two dipoles so gap by 2 and length by 2 my gap by 2 so in here what is the diameter of uh, this uh, arm and R will be the radius of that arm. So this design we are going to made in CST. So when you will up, go to CST, uh, you will go to new template and uh, that is M microwave RF and optical because basically RF and microwave these are going to deal with antenna and differently. Uh, you are uh, and RF these things are covered in radar post section biomedical for your optical application and periodic structures we are going to design an antenna and next in days waveguide planar wire phase array RFID dielectric resonator reflectors and mobile phone integrated etc we are going to make a dipole dipole is basically a wire uh, antenna made of wire so that is next then we are going to work in time domain next then we are going to set dimension the mm gigahertz frequency nanoseconds Kelvin actually it is okay then uh, my uh, work will be on uh, one two three gigahertz I am going to working because my center frequency is two gigahertz and uh, now if I just uh, take its average my uh, cut of my center frequency will be in center so then I will say next this is showing me the uh, whole summary what I have selected and then I will go to finish and a new uh, things are created after that if you see at the end that there is new parameters actually you can now uh, put your parameters here I will just going to enter those parameters here what I have told you earlier so by, my frequency is 2 gigahertz I am just put this is just a variable then I will have to calculate L A M B D lambda that will be C over M and what is C? C will be in 3 E 11 because 3 E 8 is uh, 3 raised to 10 is 3 multiplied by 10 is square 8 meter per second and this uh, uh, raising it to 10 is square 11 will give me answer in millimeter 
डिवाइडेड बाय टू गीगा टू टेन एस की पावर नाइन डेट इज माय लैम्डा डेट इज वन फिफ्टी एमएम सो नेक्स्ट थिंग इज एल इन दिस गीगा विल बी कैंसल बाय गीगा सो वी लेफ्ट ओवर विथ वन फोर्टी थ्री ओवर माय फ्रीक्वेंसी डेट इज टू गीगार्ड्स सो दिस सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट फ uh next parameter is diameter and the value will be uh diameter will be l a m b a lambda by 4 500 what i showed you oh in detail that is 0.3 uh, for calculating the radius r it will be d by 2 okay they will actually in 0 0.5 a gap specifically gap is i'm um, presenting it here by capital g and the gap will be length over uh, 200 that will be actually uh, 0.3575 okay yeah. so I told you that uh, I'm going to make first dipole we we'll go to modeling and if you want to learn more CST in detail you can comment what things you want to learn from here uh, Actually, I am doing internship in Nikob and there I learned about Balan and I thought, uh, I checked out from um, YouTube but there was no such tutorials for Balan. So, I am making that. The dipole, uh, first arm is there. I am going to make it in Z direction that uh, this will be our antenna is in that's what said direction so this is the diagram I'm going to make uh, so getting back to CST inner radius will be 0 that is starting from the 0 0 and outer radius will be capital R it will be in center and from Z it will be from gap by 2 so use uh, in CST we just have the points and from which point we have to start and, uh, and from which point we have to start and which point we have to end our design so we have to start by gap by 2 point and end it on length by 2 because from 0 center this point is length by 2 and this actually is length by 2 so total length will be L by 2 minus G by 2 okay or uh, going back this will be L by 2 so as this will be connecting so it should not be vacuum it should be PEC and this is thing so I can show you a star made I will go to here on the side bar components and I will just let this dipole I will go to transform uh, option meter select the copy if you will not copy that it will just uh, mirror that image in there and it will uh, not left it out there if you copy then we have two arms so we are going to made in z direction that z will be 1 and that will be the I will just see p view you can see that it is created the other arm as well in there I will say ok now I am just going to see that this is the dipole I have created say ok now I have to give it excitations I am here I will just go out there I will go to fix and I will pick the face uh, you can just press F to select that face this is F ok I do not need face I will just press uh, clear picks to escape from this I am going to pick circle center to give excitations so this is the circle uh, select it again I will go to pick points and you can uh, press C to go in this mod big circle center and just I have I need to rotate my section and again I am going to do this here I have selected those two points and I will go to simulation here I need this speed board ok that is impedance is 50 ohm matched ok so this is I have just made if you want to see the far field results you go to field monitor and go to 
uh, select power pin at your desired frequency if it is not there you can type it to here and just say ok now you can go to setup solver and if you have accuracy minus 40 db it will take much time you can go to minus 30 db to take less time but actually dipole doesn't take much time so you can go on with the the minus 40 db and you can then press start and you will find out the results actually i have made it earlier and my results are there so i go to dipole uh, 2g dipole so that is dipole at 2 gigahertz i have my uh, s parameters results at in one day results s parameter s11 so you can see that i have the results at that at 2 gigahertz uh, I have frequency of uh, I have uh, minus 13.518 dB S11. That is, uh, we need uh, things like um, um, for better uh, reflection coefficient, it should be less than minus 10 dB. So we have got it ever. Uh, we have got it at minus 13.58518 and dB. So if uh, you can tune it, uh, that the layer last dip should be at centered at two yards by uh, just lengthening or smalling the uh, your dipole. So this is what we have achieved. And for the reference of the bandwidth, again minus 10 dB is the reference point, and then you can just minus those these terms uh, at minus 10 dB values. It will give you your bandwidth that how much the at which bandwidth it is perfectly matched so now the next point is uh, we are going to make this uh, was very much easy now the next point is that we are going to make balance and we are going to make coagulate balance okay so for coagulate balance I'm just going out there this is our design this is the dipole arms okay and we have seen that this is outer conductor this is uh, actually like a coil cable and this is inner conductor and this is those arms and there are five total five connections that outer sleeve uh, and this is their metal outer metal sleeve okay then the outer metal sleeve one side is covered with the arm and the other is also connected with the arm and the one of the arm is also connected with the inner conductor it means that outer conductor is not inside with the inner outer inner conductor so outer conductor will somewhere uh, behind this inner conductor and uh, uh, the, these are the three connections and fourth and fifth will be that outer conductor will is connected with the metal sleeve on both sides and we need to have uh, things like uniform uh, connection so we'll make a uh, washer uh, to connect them okay we are going to again back to cst actually i made it the design before uh, i just want to show you okay let me turn it around we have uh, used this state port not now this is waveguide port uh, you can see that this is connected with this and this is this okay for that purpose i go to what I'm going to uh, see is these are again those parameters inner dia outer dia so out dia is 2.9 we are going to macros in your home there is a mac optional macros and you have to calculate analytical line impedance we have to make box our center frequency is 2 gigahertz our uh, if you're going to use um, polythene it's uh, relative permittivity is 2.25 and coagulate a uh, cable have outer dia of uh, almost uh, inner dia of 0.9 mm and actual 2.95 and you will just calculate and you will see that we have got out 47.46 ohm and actually we need the matched 
criteria that is 50 ohm but we do not need to worry this is a standard size of the coil panel available in the market so just to get inside of practical application we are using it uh, these values uh, do not worry uh, we will uh, use just these values and later on we will be having uh, this we will cover it out so do, you do not need to worry okay 47.46 so we will be just going not out these parameters in our new parameter in our parameter list uh, in dia is 0 0.9 and our dia is 2.9 2.95 let me again see in dia is 0.9 and out as 2.95 so just go over there write out in the value 0.9 mm and other will be out dia 2.95 so now I'm going to go to the ports and removing the port here because I do not need this port anymore. And I'm also going uh, working with going to work with copper. So I'm just going to change its material by right clicking on dipole, change material and color. DC, not I need a loan material from the. So I'm going to use copper. Okay, loading. I'm going to change its material as well. Loan material from library is copper pure load. Yes. So actually, you have seen this. Now I am going to make a ballot. For ballot, I first need to have. Uh, I need to make cylinder. That will be somewhere. So this is made in the direction. So we are make, going to make perpendicular to this the ballot. So it is inner conductor, and this is outer radius will be in dia. Next center y center will be 0 0 and z minimum will be starting from 1 mm and the other will be it will go to there is no such uh, uh, limitations to have size of this curvature cable but I am going to have 60 mm actually it is mm then I am going to just type 60 it will be again copper okay so we have to change uh, actually the axis of inner conductor I was saying it to you that I am going to make it Y now I will preview so you can see this Y minimum will be between uh, 1 and that will be Y max will be 60 ever copper PO now I am going to say preview okay Load. So I will just going to date So you see that in reference, the arms of my dipoles are very much have less diameter. So we do not need to worry. We can actually increase the dia. Uh, I have worked on it also the, uh, parameter that by changing the dia, what is the effect on uh, on the actual parameters of the dipole? Uh, it is very less effect. We can uh, that means very negligible effect. So we can ignore it as well. So 
so we at the end you will see that I will increase the dia of my dipole arms uh, to have it good uh, visibly. So again, I'm just going to make another cylinder that is in inner. Insulation that will be now the inner dia will be in dia and outer dia will be out dia and the center wise it will again be 1 mm and so I am going to make it from 10 mm that I told you that uh, insulation and outer connector will be a starting from less than the height from where we are starting our inner conductor and it will also go with 60 mm it is going to make in y direction and you see that in y uh, 1 and sorry 10 and 60 and it will not be of uh, prime uh, copper I am going to assign a new material that is a stone uh, will be 2.25 and it will be okay so I can now see the preview and it is just okay with that so you can see that okay I am going to again make another cylinder it will be uh, outer conductor and now it will be out there plus 1.02 why I'm having 1.02 because uh, in actually it should be enough like that uh, we can have it uh, with some material if you have to know the, uh, the study the course of workshop technology you see that which value is attain achievable so I'm going to make in bi direction. It will be starting from 10, ending on 60 mm. It will be on of copper pure, and I'm just going to have okay. So uh, there's some out dia. I have to write it. Preview. Okay. So this is what I have achieved. Now I need some layer of uh, air that will be outer insulation between metal sleeve and the outer conductor and it's it will start from out dia plus 1.02 and end on I just copy it from there and paste it there and plus uh, 1.5 mm okay it is also going by and it will start from 10 to not from 10 to uh, you can actually start it from 1 to 60 this will be new material that is here lower okay So I can just show it there as well. I made it. Now I'm going to make the outer sleeve. Okay. And sleeve will be again of metal. So I'm going to make splendor. Press escape to have this dialog box. This will be outer sleeve. And going to have its inner radius as out there plus 1.02 plus 1.5 and just copy this 1.02 it will be in y direction 
starting from uh, uh, 2 to 60 mm and it will be having copper pure and I'm just going to have preview and it is all in the thing. Now I told you that I need my dipoles to be first just uh, let your dipoles apart at from this first of all I will be going to have define dipole 1 and its blender its radius will be now like minimum in dia PBU and it will be not starting from G by 2 I am just going to enter it will start from G by 2 plus uh, for usual reference I am just going to have 5 and I will add plus 5 here as well I will just keep preview ok it is I will be going just have plus 6 preview so plus 7 preview so you can see that this is having uh, again this is plus 7 to have that length of L by 2 minus G by 2 actual length of the one R. So it, this is because that I need it to connect with the outer metal sleeve as well. So I'm just uh, first having the little difference, then I will see how much I have to put it inside. So go to OK, close. You can just see this now. We have this much size. So again, I'm going to just going to the Okay, I am just now going to see it from my previous design. Components. It is dipole. Define cylinder. It is You can say this this is actually calculations I've done it that how much it should go behind minus 0 0.5 plus out dia plus 1.02 plus 1.5 that lens I have achieved from the centers and then I have L by 2 minus G by 2 now and other things as well so I'm just going to cancel it out we will going to work on then so you should see that actually the length should be the one dipole which should be L by 2 minus G by 2 so you see that L by 2 plus 7 minus G2 by minus 7, 7 will be cut by 7 and G2 plus 7 now I just want to see if there is ok some gap and it is starting from 0, zero. first I need to uh, put it down somewhere so I am going to go to dipole, define cylinder, add it in Y it should start from 1 mm in preview Okay, this is going to start from one or one. Let's say it is 1.5 mm, and now I'm going to just put it somewhere in between so it will be just plus five, and it will be plus five. I will just see that it is having connection. Okay, it is just plus four. So plus six, and plus six. Have preview. We just have your results. So you can see that it is just not. I need it to have it more down. So I will go there. Edit. So it will be now like two mm. 
and it will go out for plus 5.5 here as well 5.5 preview okay so now you can see it, it actually they are inside as well Uh, so we have done our two connections that the uh, both of the dipoles are connected with the outer sleeve now I want to extend one of the dipoles uh, to the center pin I'm going to make it that for that I'm going to make another cylinder that will be starting from 2 m m and it will be 0 from in dia and x center will be 0 and it will be starting from z minimum that is 1 mm actually no it should start from in z direction it should start from from where from where the dipole is ending and that was the uh, G by 2 plus 5.5 and it should go at 0 and I should see preview and ok cancel so you can see this actually made slender uh, is connected with the previous I just if I just set dipole and the solid one and you can see this and there, then if I have inner conductor you can see this connection it is making with it uh, but you uh, should have noticed that the material is not same so for that purpose I'm going to rename this solid as uh, first I'm going to rename it that is extension uh, okay Uh, first I'm going to have assign it as copper material now I'm going to make rename is there should be an option of rename okay that's it extension okay now you can see this that I make three connections inner conductor with the dipole and met outer metal sleeve with dipoles. Now, if you see the connections that we have make some slot here, or uh, for that should be a length of lambda by four uh, in the position of balance. So I'm going again back to my CST part. I'm going to now make a, a brick press escape. That should be cut, and it should be. In x direction, it should be zero. Uh, it can be uh, from let's suppose it should be from minus 30 to 30, and from y minimum, it should be 1 to lambda by 4. Actual length should be lambda by 4, so it should be lambda by 4 plus 1. And from Z minimum, it should be minus 3 to 3 naught, minus 3 by 2. Why I'm, again, it is from workshop technology that, or you should know that how much minimum you can have the slot from uh, your machines. So it should be of vacuum you see preview so this much uh, 3 mm slot is created here of length lambda by 4 uh, I am going to have it cut away highlighted shape let's see if it will no it is not going to work me out so I will just say control Z okay now I will just say to select I will select cut 
and I will go to boolean just subtract and I will go for outer sleeve and I will just press enter okay that was wrong control z press now I'm going to say plus outer sleeve yes we are going to minus it from outer sleeve subtract and then cut and enter now you can see this that we have achieved though but we have achieved those things of the design but still now those two five connections are left uh, so I will just have I will show you that this is outer sleeve and this is outer conductor now I to connect them okay so I said to you in the beginning that I need some uh, uniform connection around them so I will use the washer again I will make cylinder that will be actually direction of Y and it should be you can name it as washer and it should start from it should be a 0 to 0 and uh, it should be here of radius of in dia so it should be from out dia plus 1.02 to this plus 1.5 and start from lambda by 4 minus 2 why I am making this I, I will tell you lambda by 4 minus 3 and preview it ok 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 It should be lambda by 4. Now again going preview. You can see this and it should be of again copper because we are going to have connection from it. So move it out and you can see that it's actually connecting. Okay, I will just go for now I just wash it out of sleep outer conductor I just want to rotate it to see whether my connection is valid or not you can see this that I am having this washer right out here okay so at this position why I have made now go back to our design you can see this this connection are somewhere sure on upside of lambda by 4 but this is not just uh, same I have just tried it for the first time in this position but I will see the results as well that whether I have achieved it or not the correct result because I want to tune the frequency with a uh, lambda by uh, uh, sorry, I want to in it and make it to resonant frequency lambda uh, 2 gigahertz. So that is first I have made it there, but uh, sorry for this. Uh, I have to show it that later. Now actually I can just control save my file with the name of balance. So you will see that I do not achieve uh, this is a lambda by 4 okay I am going to just assign parameter A to not a lambda by 4 I just want to know out what is lambda by 4 is 150 divided by 4 is 37.5 37.5 mm okay I want to again go to uh, my washer to find cylinder add it and at 
lambda by 4 I should put a now we make it assign it a new variable it is still there at its position and now you can see this that I have made my balance and my dipole is connected to it it is very much easy so the next thing is that uh, I want to see out my result at this position it when my um, as um, washer is around lambda by 4 after that I find out I found out that uh, I could not achieve my results then I use this parametric sweep how to use it I will also tell you that and I saw that I need uh, to have it uh, uh, around lambda by 2 to achieve my results so this picture shows you when I have my uh, washer around lambda by 4 it is 37.5 mm I have a result of this red line and this is not showing much better result after that again I use the parametric sweep and from parametric sweep I achieve all those results of S parameters S11 and from that I got to know that at uh, actually 56.25 it is not lambda by 2 it will be you will see 3 lambda by 8 it is 56.25 mm when my washer is around 3 by 8 lambda I achieved my result that is my answer was tuned to 2 gigahertz so for that purpose I use I got simulation I got the parametric sweep uh, at home I have the parametric sweep new sequence new parameter you can go for a and linear sweep you can start with uh, 150 by 8 you can start with 18.75 somewhat less than your actual value and go with lambda by 2 actually yes lambda by 2 was actually 75 mm Go with 75 mm in number of steps you can define that how much values you have to take in between I have used four values and I just press ok and I just press the start and the simulation will start and it will end and when you will check this one one we will get these results but I have done with it I'm done with it and at the end actually I set my washer I'm going to cancel it. Eight to three by eight lambda position in this uh, file, and I achieved. You can see this washer, outer conductor, and uh, balance. Now you can see this. It is actually at the end. Okay, the connection is at the end. Then after that, I go to balance file, and I just make it a as 3 lambda by 8 that is 3 by 150 mm over 8 that is lambda is by 150 m 56.25 and press f7 to update your result now you can your design is completed now you can go to actually uh, again simulation side and go to pick points uh, actually go to this this big pick face and pick face of your uh, inner insulation and go to your waveguide port and just press ok and again if you want to put the far field results go to far field at your own frequency and ok uh, this says that I've already but I am going to have it at 2 gigahertz my frequency and uh, now I if I will start the simulation I will end up with my good results so this is my dipole my design and I actually having uh, my uh, this one with it 
and I would go to one day results and as parameters and you can see that is I am having the lowest tip at uh, 1.99 gigahertz there is minus 25.389 and uh, at 2 gigahertz I am having minus 23.502 and for the bandwidth purpose I have 2 points at minus 10 dB and this uh, give me the bandwidth of uh, this actually result 2.1144 minus 1.925 and this shows me that uh, I have attained attain the bandwidth of 189.5 uh, mega 189.4 megahertz and I can do what I can read the specifications and I can learn more about this how to increase the bandwidth and something else they, and if you want to learn more about C uh, designing on CST you can comment uh, here and I can go on you with your demands inshallah so now if I go to far fields and then far field header is equal to and I go to absolute designs you can see this my dipole are very good uh, and it is the gain is something greater than uh, if I go here and I show you the far field results absolute uh, here it is showing gain of 2.25 and when I have used my balance and balance results I get uh, attain the uh, achieve good gain 3.65 dB if you can see this directivity and gain another e feed and e patients as well uh, you can see this how your uh, duration pattern is designed we have designed our dipole in that direction so we have achieved perpendicular to that um, omnidirection like pattern that is same in the xy plane not omnidirection omnidirection that is same or all direction it is not same in all direction that is in y direction so it is showing same radiation uh, like a donut shape in perpendicular to z axis so i can show structure as well here for transparent you can see this my dipole is there and i am achieving uh, a donut shape around that so this is our design and our tutorial for more please like subscribe and comment and share with your friends and we are we are much more to come up with inshallah so thank you for watching give me permission allah hafiz